Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I will be ranking the eyeshadow palettes that I own. So I have 10 different palettes right here. It is super exciting, but it definitely gave me a hard time to decide. So let's start with my number 10 eyeshadow palette. And this one is from Too Faced Bear It All Eyeshadow Palette. This packaging is super cute. Look at that. And I love that it's thin. The color story inside is amazing. The only thing that I'm not a fan of this palette is the formula. So I find it on a drier side. I prefer more of a creamier formula. And also there are only four shimmer shade or metallic shade on this palette. And I feel like the other two didn't work out for me. So I feel like it's a waste. So that is why it's my number 10. Moving on to my number 9 eyeshadow palette. And this one is from NARS. This is the Skin Deep eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure if you guys can remember this. It is such a good color story as well. Look at this. It's so beautiful. It's a lot more neutral. But the only thing that I don't like about this palette, it has this like really large size of colors here. I feel like they should have done more like smaller so that they can put more colors. But overall, this is one of the best formula that they have. But I don't know why I don't find myself reaching out to this palette. Maybe one day I will use them because they're still pretty and it's like mostly new. Next up is my number 8. So I have this one right here. This is from Natasha Denona. This is the Glam Face Palette in the light shade. I got this one, I think it might be this year. I can't remember. It's such a long time. So this one is also a limited edition, but I like this palette because it comes with a highlighter and a blush. Also, the shade here, it's really beautiful. I really like it because I feel like every time I use this palette, it seems that I don't have so much options. So I can like just use every single shade. When you travel, you can actually just bring this by itself. It's just that if you want colors or if you want a little bit more of a different look, you're stuck because you only have like five different colors, three mattes and two shimmers. So yes, that's my number 8. Moving on to number 7, which is this one right here. This is from Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2. And actually, that's what I'm wearing right now. So if you look on my eyes, I did wore it today because I feel like I want like a soft pink but a little bit more drama. So I wore this today and this is the color story. This one has kind of like the same issue with NARS. Their packaging is hard to open. So color story is beautiful. I like it, but it's not enough again to be on my top five. It's just that the shimmer, the only thing, the shimmer on this one, it's not as pigmented. Maybe it's not supposed to be a metallic, it's a shimmer so there's no pigment under. It's sort of just like when you put it on your eyes, it's just a big chunk of shimmer. So if you're looking for the ones that really have pigment that will give you color, this one doesn't do that. So maybe that's why it's my number as seven. But overall, still a beautiful palette. I love his formula. The matte is very, very creamy and it's, it's very easy to work with. So my number six, this one is from Natasha Denona again, the bronze palette. The reason why this is my number six, because I find it... I don't know like most of the time if I want to wear makeup I want something that's kind of like light but it has a little bit of drama if I use this one right here the shade beach this is supposed to be the lightest shade but every time I use it it just looks dark on me and I feel like I want it a little lighter than this and every time I dip into more of the darker color it's just way too dark so if I am planning to have a trip with this I feel like I cannot get a lighter color it's just my my experience with this so that's why but it's still a beautiful color story and also the pigmentation of this is really good the formula is really good you can get a lot of this you have a lot of mattes and metallics and shimmers so it's a complete palette just sometimes it's too much for me now let's move on to my number five we're heading into there my top five palette this one is from charlotte tilbury this is the pillow top instant eye palette now don't judge me why this is only my number five i know some of you or a lot of you really like this palette but it's beautiful i really love the packaging but 
I feel like this is one of her original uh, formula that the recent one that she has are way more nicer that's just my feeling but the color story is everything you must have this palette as well you can actually travel with this one it's complete you have shimmer shade you have metallic neutral some pink beautiful beautiful packaging color story is really good so that's my top five eyeshadow palette moving on to my number four we're getting in there you guys i'm excited but i'm nervous because you probably gonna like why why did you not choose this but this is just my preference and i enjoy really using them it really depends on your preference and also how you feel about the palette right they all work really well but it's my preference you guys so my number four palette this one is loved when this one launch it is a limited edition it's sold out so I'm glad that I have one this is again from NARS and I know you're probably familiar with this this is the NARS wanted eyeshadow palette this palette you guys is everything when I first saw this look at that OMG the color story you get like the shimmer you get the metallic you get neutral you get browns you get some colors it's beautiful it's one of their very first eyeshadow uh, launch that everybody just gone crazy and they want it and it's sold out so if you have this one you're lucky if you don't have wait maybe they will launch you know they always kind of repeat what they launch next up is my top three and this one is from mother mother is in the house this is the pat mcgrath loves mothership five and this is the very first pat mcgrath eyeshadow palette that i have and actually this was a gift from my husband first time when i went to sephora with my husband um, i was looking around and was so fascinated with her packaging and just the color story of everything and i know it is such an expensive palette but i was just like super excited to see it and also it was kind of like the first uh time i was at sephora so i just like look everything and when i saw this my eyes just got bigger and i think my husband saw that and i got really excited so he got it for my birthday you have seen it by now but this is a color story what i love this palette is her shimmer and metallic shade it's everything i feel like every time i have a special event i have special occasion if i use her metallic shade here like some of the dual chrome and a trichrome it adds extra special to my makeup it's beautiful i love it good formula i mean i think it's worth it you're probably wondering like what's her top two and her number one but you probably don't expect it this one is my top two from anastasia beverly hills this is the prim rose palette the way how this palette looks like it's so me this tells me everything just the packaging i love it the color of the packaging the color story look at this it comes with two blush look at how beautiful this one is everything is in here and if you ask me would you travel with it by itself yes absolutely because you know what the metallic shade of this one is very very pigmented it, it can actually change your whole look the mattes in here are very pigmented i really love this shade mango here if i want just a lighter fresh look i can just apply it by itself it's really good so that's why it's in my top two eyeshadow palette now let's move on to my top one eyeshadow palette what it is can you guys guess leave a comment down below but here it is hang on there i have it right here this is the charlotte tilbury jeweled eyes to hypnotize this is the first ever eyeshadow palette that i own from charlotte tilbury and when i saw this i was like oh my goodness it is a limited edition i have to get it and this is how the color story look like look at that the formula of this one i feel like it's different from pillow talk this is way more softer especially the shimmer right here this shades on this side it's everything i really like it and i use this brown here for an eyeliner i pretty much use all the shades in here it's perfect the way how it opens the size it's it's small it's sleek and that's why it's my number one eyeshadow palette you guys i hope 
that you find this fun because it's hard for me to decide thank you so much for watching and all your support again if you have fun please give this video a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and i will see you on my next video bye guys